Hello YouTube, this is LEGO Build It Episode 5, The Wind-Up Car. As the name suggests, I'll show you how it works. So you have to pull back the rubber band and stick it on this knob right here, like that. Then you just wind up the wheels, often about full rotation will work. Then you pull it back and it can go about on average, I'd say like 10 times as far forward as you roll it back. So it can go quite far forward, like a real wind-up car. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. You will need two large wheels and two smaller ones. You will need two of these, or in the other car, I use a gear. You will need two of these. These, I think, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. These are 15 studs long. You'll need a 9 stud long rod, a 6 stud long rod, and two 4 stud long rods. You'll need 6 bushings, and 6 half bushings. You will need a 1 by 2 piece like this with a cross on one side and with a joint on the other side. And you'll need a rubber band. So now I'll show you how to build it. Take one of these and two of your bushings. Stick the bushings on in the center like this and set that piece aside. You are going to take one of the six stud you're going to take the six stud long rod and you are going to take two more bushings and slide them to the middle and then set it aside also now take the next one you're going to slide both of these into the middle of it and you can also if you're using a gear you can slide the gear on and then put a half bushing on either side like so. And you'll set that piece aside also. And for the last rod that goes in the middle, you'll need this nine stud long axle. Stick this on it and slide it as close to the middle as you can get it. Like that. And put a half bushing on either side. Like this. Now set this down. Now you're going to take one of these, set this in the far back, then you're going to go and skip two studs, and then place this, and then in the front you are going to place this, and then you're going to skip a stud and place this. Now I'll take this and slip it on top of all of them, like that. You can try to center them a little bit more. So now for the, we'll stick on a half bushing on either side of this. Hold it in place. And then let's also stick on the wheels so that those don't fall apart. Like you said, the rods don't come apart. Come on, wheel. Okay, so there's the front wheels. Might want to spread them out a little bit so they can spin freely. And then now you're going to take two more of these bushings and stick them on the other side of this. And then you are going to take these bigger wheels and stick them on the back. Like this. There's your car, so you might want to space these out a little bit more. So you want to say spin them like that. Okay. Now actually, oops, just a second. Take this wheel off and slip a rubber band over this. 
Now, stick the wheel back on. And then, you're going to have to slip, man, forgot about this step. You have to slip this off and these off so that you can access this. Then stick the rubber band over that black piece also. Then slip it down. And now you can stick your wheel back on. Sorry about that. Okay, so there you go. That's the wind up car. So now I'll show you one more time how to wind it up. Take the rubber band and stick it over and make sure that one side of the rubber band is on one side of these pieces and there's rubber bands on the other side. Oops, I let go. And then just wind it back about one full turn like that. And there you go. So please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.